to Tomb Raider 2 Let's Play. In this episode, we'll be tackling Offshore Rig. Now as we start the level, we see Laura in a prison. Huh. Or what this could be. So yeah, this is for the PSX um, Play some X-rated games. Uh, so, um, you don't have your weapons, so you have to find them. Um, throughout this level, you'll start finding your weapons. Some of them will be just laying right next to you when you're just, you know, just walking around, fucking around, you know. Uh, some of them are kind of hard to find. I think, um, if you find all the secrets, you get your Uzi really early. So, that's the reason why you should get this secret in this level. All the secrets. So as you see, pull out the block twice, and rise fast to hell to the exit. And the marbles will sound off. Just dive into the water and swim for safety. Now when you're swimming, make sure that you don't get too close to the fan or you'll soon get sucked in. It's pretty easy to get sucked in when you're swimming close to the fan. probably notice our first secret behind the fan. Uh, we'll be getting that pretty soon. Actually, really soon. I mean, like, 20 seconds. That's how fast we're getting it. Yeah. So, you just pull this lever, um, then the door opens, and you can access the secret. It's pretty easy to get. You would think that it being a secret, it'd be hard to get. I mean, you know, guarded by some uh, enemies, but no, it's actually really easy. Now over here, we open this door, and in this uh, passage. There's a secret, get it. See, pretty easy. I don't think that a uh, fan can kill you unless you swim directly into it. Yeah, you can notice that Laura can stay underwater for a really long time without actually dying. Uh, I think they increase the link that you can stay on the water in this game since the last suit made her. So over here you can hear engine, that's the airplane, we need to get in there. We gotta find a way to get in here. So this button here opens that. Need to go under there, and I think uh, push another button. Now we need to go all the way around to where we were just at, so we can get on top of the plane. Now, for some reason, you can clip to this engine, which makes no sense at all. But, up here, you have some grass, and that doesn't even make any sense. 
So now we find our pistols, which are pretty useful. Uh huh. Now all we have to do is just kick some ass and take names. Make fun of them because we kicked their ass. Immediately after you get up on top of land, this motherfucker comes out no one starts hitting you. The guy took the power from me. Now this is the first level of uh, this area. So a lot of enemies will drop many packs in. Yeah, mostly May packs, not that much with the ammo. This thing here falls down for some reason. It doesn't really kill you. I mean, it could, it can kill you, but I don't see how it could. I mean, you have to get on the ramp for it to trigger. Alright, over here you can take the left path, but uh, there are some enemies over there you can take care of them later. But what I like to do is I like to go to the right first and do all the stuff I need to do, then come back and kick those motherfuckers on the left side. Now you get ambushed here. You gotta be careful. This guy, I know where he just come out, but behind you, I'm trying to kick your ass. This guy, shoot the dick. Just stay over to this area and he won't, uh, this guy won't spawn. Now, there is a way to abuse their AI system with just going up and down the ramp, but. Uh -huh. I'm not very successful in doing that. Uh huh. Fucking geometry. Now this guy, um, there's a guy, he spawns whenever you enter the room, um, you might want to take him out as quickly as possible. Now I kind of used this AI pathfinding for a couple seconds right there, like that, but um, yeah that's a way you can exploit the AI, just kick their ass. Usually it works better with it uh -huh. when there's two or more people in fighting. Uh -huh. we get some ammo in here. Um, and ammo for a weapon uh -huh. we don't have yet. So in here, we can find two weapons, a uh, new weapon and one of our old weapons. Uh, yeah, the Magnum, or the automatic pistols, if you want to call it that, uh -huh. is up here. Not sure why it's doing up in the bed. I mean, it should be in a locker or something. And this is the harpoon gun uh -huh. thingy. Not really sure what it's really called. That gun sucks. Don't don't ever use it. You can always shoot uh, things underwater just by coming up land and shooting them with your pistols. That's always the easiest way to kill anything. Now this part is timed. You gotta hurry all the way up over here and 
do a standing jump into the air conditioner shaft. Actually, I'm not really sure if it's an air conditioner shaft. Uh, I'm just guessing. Now, it's important that you slide backwards when you do this, or else you will die. There's no way to do this sliding forward. 